Alright, we've come to 1918, and the war is almost over. It's September 1918, and the Entente powers are beginning their invasion of Bulgaria. Now, Bulgaria had always been a junior part of the Central Powers, mainly because um, they had been influential in, in the um, invasion of Serbia in 1915, but other than that, they uh, really hadn't seen much fighting. They were still a small army. It was a small nation. Um, and overall, it was just, it was not as big as the Turkish, Austro-Hungarian, or German armies. Now, in 1917, Greece, under, um, under Prime Minister Venizelos, um, declared war on the Central Powers. And so in September 1918, 1918, the, um, Entente invaded Bulgaria. Bulgaria fell by the end of September. It was a month. And, um, it really, really was, um, not, not even a, um, chance for Bulgaria. There were, um, many, many, many nations involved in the battle for Bulgaria in 1918. As you see in this, um, picture right here, there's many, many, many different kinds of, of people. There's the um, French Indo-Chinese, that is, people from Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, um, Frenchmen, Senegalese, people from Senegal, a Britishmen, um, Russians, Italian, I Indian, Serb, Greek. There's just all sorts of people in Macedonia and um, Bulgaria at the time, Greece at the time. And um, this is sometimes called the Salonika Front because it was nestled in the area of Salonika or Saloniki or Thessimoniki. Um, it's it's called by all those names, Salonika Front. And um, these entente powers um, really show uh, what the divide, the diversity of the troops in Bul in Greece during the time of the invasion of Bulgaria. So Bulgaria surrendered and withdraw withdrew from the war at the um, at the end of the end of September next was Turkey here Venizelos Prime Minister Venizelos of Greece right here is reviewing troops in Macedonia actually most of the fighting for the Turks was um, took took um, place in in um, in the Middle East area in um, September the British defeated the Turks badly at Megiddo, the Battle of Megiddo. Um, in October, the Allies, the Entente, um, occupied Damascus, Syria. The French took Beirut in Syria. Um, on October 26th, the Entente captured Aleppo. And um, and by the end of October, the Turks were done. They, saw, they um, signed an armistice, surrendered, and withdrew from the war. So those two nations were the first to withdraw from the war as far as on the central power side, Bulgaria and Turkey. And it was only a matter of days before the, the other two powers, Austria-Hungary and Germany, would um, follow them. Now Austria-Hungary and Italy were still fighting. Austria-Hungary at that time was fighting only with Italy, and even then it was hard. The Italians were advancing across the Piave River, and eventually, a battle was fought between October 24th and October 30th, called the Battle of Vittorio Veneto. After the Battle of Vittorio Veneto, it was only a matter of days before the Austro-Hungarians surrendered. They surrendered on November 3rd, 1918. And with all their allies surrendered and gone out of the war, and new um, counterattacks um, from the after the German spring offensives, the Germans were ready to call it quits as well. This is a photo taken after the um, after the armistice was signed on November 11th, 1918, in a uh, on a train car um, in forest outside Compiègne, France. And um, these are the Entente and Central and German um, commanders who signed the armistice, the surrender, and um, 
the war was over. And actually, the day was 11 11 11. It was the armistice was signed at about 11 o'clock on November 11th, and um, therefore we have the 11 11 11. And actually, that is um, Veterans Day, November 11th, and that comes from the end of World War One. And so the war was finally.